Hello everybody, welcome to my first round match of the fantastic, AD, it's not the fantastic, my team is fantastic, AD, the AD English Invitational um, versus Stringer Bell with an Orc team with four Black Orcs, four Blitzers, a thrower, two linemen. This is progression, so the injuries and everything will, the injuries and star player points count. Fashbinder, Indian, Indian YouTube star has joined me here for commentary, thank you very much Fash, so that I can... Uh, Hello, my name is Fashbinder. <laughs> So I, I am can, from India. So I can turn off my uh, camera and try hard, try my best to just, you know, focus things. It's pretty important to qualify for the World Cup, I think. So there you go. Thanks, Fash. Pro tips from Jim, important to qualify. What a keen insight. That's why you come to this YouTube. Good work, YouTube. As uh, everyone's at 8000 TV, all comparable, there will be no inducements. The gym will have to focus and ponder and uh, intently concentrate, not not rub his chin too much, as that would just stretch it out. And as he ages, the skin would lose elasticity. <laughs> elasticity. Receiving the ball, without a doubt. Absolutely get those mighty blow hits from the mummies, even though they'll be on 89 targets. It is sweltering heat. Classic. Classic way to ruin a Blood Bowl match. Add some extra RNG for no reason. Need to uh, mitigate risk and deny blocks for your opponent. Minimize the armor rolls in your guys. Nah, let's just remove people at random. Cool. Let's see if Stringer Bell's a madman. We don't expect to see Black Hawks on the LOS. Oh, what do you mean, Twitch? Or two? I'm, I'm, I'm commentating. I'm just really salty. And I'm, I won't be saying as much because I'm really concentrating on moving my bed time around. Yeah, fair enough, Jim. I'll, I'll do the brunt of the lifting. Uh, you definitely concentrate. Oh, thanks, Fashman. They are so kind. Yeah, no. I don't know. Wow, puts a black orc on the line. What a madman. Deserves to be punished. Oh, he's, he's, he's sorry for the delay. My ceiling, something or other. I hope Jim will press enter so he can read it and be amused. Look at that, he's, he's singing out the blocks. What, this this guy hits this guy. The guy can make a 2D. I'm sure a zombie will come across to get a 3D. Love me some 3 dice blocks. Orc Thrower, absolutely. Our audience is with a great call. Do you think the Orc Thrower doesn't have an extra alignment for the LOS? Had to put a black orc on. Get banged on. As well as sporting an AV8 on the field. If the Orc Thrower is ever blitzable, Jim's going to take it for sure. Oh, my ceiling was leaking water, so I have to deal with the building manager for a bit. I can lie in Jim saying no worries. Talking in chat, unbelievable. Spelt have wrong. He's corrected it. And now he's lying. No worries, a lie. Have fun, a lie. Fortunately, he did not make the mistake of wishing good luck to his opponent, as that would have been catastrophic. Changing weather mitigates the sweltering heat. Happy times. Oh, three dice blocks, yeah. Oh, didn't get punished. <laughs> That's the power of the three dice block, fellas. If you ever have a strength five guy, and you have the capacity to block a strength three guy, like nine times out of ten, you make that a three die block. Because that both down skull would have been a turnover. Well, you burnt a reroll on turn one otherwise. No excuse not to make a three die block. You'll see plenty of players not do it, and they are bad and should feel bad. 
Making three dice there, that's the dream. This little peon just stumbles. AV10 not broken. Oh, and another push. White in a good spot for a full up block. More pushes. Highly disappointing. And so presumably, a ball pickup, ghoul for protection, and then because there's no other guys with block on the undead team, the blitz will come from a zombie to get the two die on the lineman. But as it's so unimportant, the attempt at the ball pickup is probably more important. Because I don't think Jim will re-roll either. So you might as well go for the ball pickup. Deep screen. Oh, deep screen is a bit risky. I mean, I never criticised protecting the ball, so I mean, that's good. <laughs> uh, but just with the one man on the right, if that one man gets splits and some pressure comes down, you know, you just failed to pick up the ball three times with an AG3 team, and uh, you're having a bad time. Me too, Pixie Dust. Me too. So the Blitz will blitz the white. Blackhawk then ties up a zombie. And slowly pushes the undead to one side of the field. Safe plays are happening first. Actually, I am not looking at this in real time. I'm looking at it on Jim's stream instead of in the game. Silly me. I've probably been saying things well behind. Yikes. Oh, now I've missed what's happening. So, Blackhawk's time men up. A blitz happened on the suspected guy, and men coming downfield. Fair enough. Took the, uh, and we'll take the one free block on offer. I guess it forces Jim to reroll the pickup. Look for a push to free the white. Hmm, interesting. Because he could have otherwise tied up an extra uh, zombie on a black orc. The one we can always put someone free. And look, this is the time where you really wish the ball was in your hand. The turn becomes infinitely easier. Uh, ball in hand, you can just go, but now he has to consider, oh, you know, what if my pickup fails? He's definitely going to spend the reroll on it, unless, unless he goes for some crazy screen. Crazy screen wouldn't be a bad idea, TBH. I see it with the deep kick, uh, and a little bit of pressure, like it wasn't really that much pressure. But if we're mitigating risk and mitigating a second failed pickup on a 181, which doesn't happen, happy days. Um, the Orcs are getting free blocks, and because Jim had to worry about the ball rather than clear the mess because he didn't pick it up last turn, um, the Orcs have generated some free blocks. Um, so to make it safe, can't really make it safe. Uh, I guess unless the ghoul just comes up and makes a line with the white, and then the ball carrier stands behind, that'll keep him away from the three plus from the number one blitz on the right, marked by a tomb guardian. Oh, look at that! Yeah, uh, that was really the only way. Uh, to not have a 3 plus to hit the ball. And so from there, yeah, just dirty 1Ds. So like 3 plus is the worst thing in Blood Bowl. Uh, 
failing the one day is not a big deal. Succeeding the one day is, you know, you still base. Freeing up the number five zombie. One, two, three, four. Doesn't do a whole lot. Could allow the two die from the other other fella, and then maybe dodge the white at the end to reduce the base contact. Said screening or tying up the blitzer. When I click on Jim's, uh, when I click on the orcs, you can see the amount of fields that Jim's taking control of. It's a good amount. Aside from blitz to base the ball, uh, orcs aren't moving Holly. But he does get two, two dice blocks on the zombies. Mummy's still probably safe though. I mean, he can commit for the one. Oh, base in the ball. I don't know about this uh, blitz direction. So he blitzed for a pal there, because the boat down would have left him tied up in the zombies tackle zone. And the boat down is the result that you're looking for when you're blitzing a ghoul. I mean, you know, boat down and pal, obviously, but by blitzing from that square, he was relying on the pal to just push him near the sideline for no particular reason. Bit odd. If you're talking about like the okay, but ultimately it doesn't matter, but if you're talking about like objective decision making. Very odd. Some hefty mans and wow, re rolls it. What? What the fuck was that? Final action dodge to not really go anywhere, maybe double GFI uh, to. Tag the ghoul so that the ghoul doesn't assist or, or blitz free the uh, ball carrier. I don't know if I'll spend a reroll on it. Yikes. Yeah, I wouldn't have spent a reroll on it. Pixie does. Oh, block with that block. Who's the ball? Could assist the one. Yeah, no, if it's important enough, you don't, don't roll it. No final action dodge. Because best case scenario, the ghoul just does the same thing. And then you're just relying on dice to win. I mean, and not not like relying on dice to win, but you know, you're saying oh, I'm going to make this roll and that to make my opponent mirror that. Yeah, not on turn you know two, like turn seven for sure. Because now he's down to two, and presumably uh, we'll be doing a lot of basing. Well, he's already done a lot of basing, so presumably there's a lot of blocks, and those one in nines will pile up. And you only afford two now, which is 18 blocks, and uh, that's a bit spooky. And when I say 18 blocks, I mean, you know, on average, not literally. So I think the down ghoul, marked by the thrower, screens off the open blitzer, and then ghoul stands somewhere behind the mummies. 
Uh, by ghoul, I mean ball carrier. Yikes. Need this one in 81 to work. Oh. Made a dodge with dodge. Tight screen, uh, 4 plus. No, 5 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus to get through. Ah, oh, correct, indeed. Nice chain for a follow-up block. With block. And by chain, I mean, you know, push consideration. Free Z Grounded Blitzer. Gets the assist with the Grounded Blitzer that also ties up a white to get a three knife from the black hole. Oh man, is this going to be a red dice blitz to base the ball? Was there no blitz that turn? I'd have to go back and look. I don't think it was a blitz that time. All right, so with the ball now somewhat recovered and somewhat safe, with no you know immediate crazy looming threats, Jimmy probably looks and start bashing the orcs, because uh, an orc that's doing lots of basing is only effective when it, the basing is successful. If you're able to block down everyone that's basing you, which is why you traditionally don't really look to do it unless you're doing it intelligently, and this basing has been pretty intelligent. Uh, the two black orcs in the middle with the mummy blitzes one black orc, follows for an assist on the second, the white gets a 2D uh, with block. Uh, Gul can then rotate the screen, and there's black orcs on the ground that are tied up. As you can see, uh, Stringer Bell's been tying up the downed uh, zombies and, and whites and whatnot. That's given Jim fewer options. There's this chance to recover. Or similarly, Jim could be looking for a push down field. Uh, number three blitzer is really... Uh, no, no, there's two blitzes in midfield that could, you know, dodge out if need be. So, uh, no, no early breakaway. Pushes. Classic. <laughs> oh, classic. So instead of being able to punish the basing, uh, the basing has been rewarded tying up two men, consuming the blitz, having two guys standing that are also uh, able to base and make a block. Worst possible outcome. Feels bad, man. Bit of a gamble uh, from Jim with the standing of the zombies near the sideline. With a blitz or, or too much attention goes to surfing them. Uh, might open up some space on the other side.
My push, Glorious. So yeah, if one of these midfield Blackhawks uh, assists a thrower, uh, Blitzer then gets the surf, presumably. There'll be four on the left flank dealing with what would have been two men. And there might be some space. Oh, banged on. A 181 is undoubtedly unfortunate. He won in nine, though. Justin deserved. Yeah, never surf. That's pretty much how it goes, though. Like, really. A quick decision for the big rotate. Oh, pushes. I already even got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All men didn't go anywhere too great. We get to rotate out of it, though, I guess, so that's pretty nice. Requires a sacrifice on a... Uh... Maybe not. Someone's a good stand next to the white to get the uh, two die on the off blitzer in the mid in the midfield. I fucking misclicked then, if you can believe that. I was just looking to see how far he could go, and I fucking misclicked it and had to reroll. Jesus oh. Christ. I don't know if Jim misclicked there. <laughs> but that GFI was not the one. Shouldn't have been reading chat. One, two, three, four, five, six, and probably one of the uh, rerolls for the second white, uh, second ghoul. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, yikes. Maybe a zombie 1D's alignment takes the boat down if he has to. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Even a push would be sufficient. And then the other, the, the final risk is then the Black Hawk on a four plus. And I don't know if uh, a respectable player would risk. Uh, their blitz action on a four plus. Maybe though. Yeah. No doubt about it. Oh <laughs> one best box of skulls. I think it was the only choice to have the lineman not not make the the one die. Because a lineman double GFI for a one D with a down success. Uh, better than a four plusing black hawk for the same success. Although I guess you get two dice with a black hawk. Well, that was that was my fault for the fucking misclick. There. I was just seeing how far he could fucking get. Holy shit! L l like our game for the fucking the uh, the match when it first the uh, yeah was, maybe well see if he get punished yeah. It was just the same thing. I, I was just looking to see how far I could go, and I guess I shouldn't have. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Oh. All safe. Listening for position did seem pretty important. Uh, like he couldn't just let you run away with it if he failed. If he's yeah, if he didn't power, and he couldn't really fish for the power with only one reroll left as a like price paid for the earlier greeting.
I don't know though. This is one of those towns I'd like to watch again to see if uh, a different blitz is going to be made. Wow, burns the final we roll. Well, there you go. Orcs making lots of blocks. Tell you what, I reckon these blocks are there. I mean, we can't look like that. You, you can't assess the dice like all oh, of the, the, the people that didn't have block. How many of those were oh, one in nines? But it's certainly unlucky for him. But he has made a lot of blocks. Which I think is just unfitting when you make a great roll on turn two. Alright, so down zombie final action, I guess, marks of maybe a blitzer or the, or the thrower. Mummy can throw a white, right, white can go up. But as for getting the ball downfield and being protected, like it, it's really just potato. And that's never good. Um, maybe Mummy could free the midfield white. And. Like, it's turn six that is not, you know, not make or break yet, but... You want to see the opposite. In fact, uh, White frees Mummy. Is Mummy then GFI chaining somewhere? No, Mummy fills the hole. I guess the block with block is strictly superior. So yeah, there was a chain to move someone around, but... I didn't get around to working out where and, and why. I mean, freeing the White, the downed White, is pretty good. Um, blitz in hand. Yeah, absolutely. The lineman that he brought, brought around to the flank earlier, that was just sort of a like a deep screen. Uh, invaluable, really. I thought it was odd considering how aggressive he was being otherwise, but uh, cautious. The play would be like super easy if that lineman had been, you know, somewhere else. You know, the blitz on the blitzer and three ghouls go up to screen each other. And like retreating behind the mummies would just feel really bad. <laughs> Yikes. I guess Jim's looking at the clock and saying, I need to be further forward than this. No, I got the stumbles. Amazing. Is that the third or fourth, maybe? Uh, aside from this turn. I reckon half his powers have been this turn. Good old Jim. Risky sideline play. Well, yeah, well, aside from retreating, retreating uh, not much else on offer. Yeah, this will be gross. So, I don't know, this was another turn that I'd like to look at over and over again. Uh, so down in the black hole was pretty compulsory. And you wouldn't want to do it on a 1D. But yeah, the midfield black hole that's standing sort of on the LOS. That's four squares away from the uh, tip of the screen. So there we are, black hole pinning people to the sideline. The blitzer will definitely blitz down the lead ghoul. Oh, 
Oh, I've got the KO so you can actually base him. Push is pretty handy. Yeah, it'll be pretty gross. Yeah, true. Uh, this down blitzer probably could have done anything other than lay on the ground. But I mean, the, the block with block at this point when you're out of rerolls, you consider the block with block a safe play. And yeah, I would always do that. Yeah, final actions, do some GFIs, seems fair enough. In action, you wouldn't reroll. <laughs> Alright. Sad times in gym town. Is there something really creative, like the white gets a 2D to fill a square? And then a blitz from... Double GFI blitz? No. And even then, that doesn't really push anyone anywhere useful. Jim saying something. Throwing a white. Oh, yikes. Oh man, is it going to be a handoff to the white? And then the white goes one, two, three, four. No, not, not anywhere good. I guess if the white goes his full distance, like I'm sure Jim would have loved to have had a reroll. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. And then downfield white dodges, makes a GFI. So the Jim's midfield white tags the thrower and his right hand side white potatoes. But it's GFIs with the ball after a dodge with dodge into a handoff with no hero. Spooky times. Oh, it didn't drop it! Oh, amazing! Let's see some safer plays. Uh, standing up the down zombies could be pretty handy just to, you know, maybe base someone next turn. Can't be making 1Ds. Can't risk the white dodge because if the downfield or if the ball holding white doesn't get to a scoring position, there's definitely nothing happening. One, two, three, four, five. So he's probably considering how many GFIs do I risk? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. So maybe... The ghoul basing the Black Orc dodges out and does a six plus three or five plus three plus? Yeah, six plus three plus? <laughs> to screen out uh, the Blitz is only double GFI and then the... Midfield White does a dodge GFI to take the thrower. Mm, what happened? He did it! He made two GFI! Unbelievable! Mm. Roll dice. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. The perfect turn. Unbelievable. To make an entire turn. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen Jim roll dice and not get punished. Someone clip this. This will be like a once in a lifetime opportunity to see Jim roll dice without getting banged. Never will you see this happen again. <laughs> the first dice roll is a one no fash. <laughs> Fucking hell. 
how tight is your butt right now? Pretty tight. It's still tight. Look at this. Oh, bastard. Oh, After all that. God. Fuck. After all that. No, oh, not stunned. So if you midfield goal, let's see. Is a good goal? No. It's fucked. Rest in pepperoni. Yeah, look, it's fair enough. It was a uh, tough drive. It's tough in the rural management, which string belt almost got punished for. Uh, did nothing wrong. You made one mistake with <laughs> a misclick. Classic. And look, when two people play well and it's not super dicey. This is sort of expected. So can the ghoul free the mummy to chain something? To chain the ghoul? Not really. Can anyone chain the white? No. Blow. And they have one shot at coming back too. Oh yeah, uh, Jim lost too to KOs as well, so uh, only one draw for them. <laughs> oh boy. Cool, dodge out of goal scoring tonight. Happy times. Tell you what, those dodges have been pretty good. Just quietly. Straight up squirrel dude. Not even the right turn, just you know the right action. Well you just go, I just need to make one risk this turn. Someone not putting mummies on the line. Who would have thought that risking your mummies on an LOS scrimmage, L LOS uh, block, was not the one? I would have thought that. Oh, yeah, I have no idea what the format is. I don't know if these can have draws or not. Uh, Orcs got their KO back. Jim did not. He did have one more KO'd, so I guess it seems somewhat fair, but classic Blood Bowl. Down a man. Wouldn't be Blood Bowl without being down a man.
Nah, this is the fast spice invader setup. Old thrower alone in the backfield. Oh, perfect defense! Mm, amazing! With the orc throw, ah, oh, it's a shit kick. Ah, oh. yeah, that's unfortunate. If it was deep, he could have sent like a ghoul or two down to threaten the thrower who's by himself, and then protected by two linemen. But now there's a pretty good chance to a touchback. It'll probably just be in the hands of a like even a blitzer. One, two, three, four, five. If it's not a touchback, the orc thrower won't be in range to pick it up without a GFI. Risky business. Oh, man. Get in there. Oh, boy. Oh, man's. Oh, man's around down one hurts a bit. But it could force a bunch of ropey shit, like a lot of blocks without block. A lot of blocks that absolutely can't fail. A ball that requires a GFI, if it's not a touchback. Could get caught on a Black Orc that is then in three tackle zones. That would be somewhat hard to clear. Caught on a black orc in three tackle zones. That's somewhat hard to clear. Huh, who would have thought? One D's, fellas. One D's to protect the ball. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Hey, that was pretty good. I eat my hat, chat. I eat my hat. Power's my blood, yeah. How's your blood, yeah? If only I had one extra man on the field instead of being a man down, that would have been so much harder. <laughs> yeah, that would have been alright, wouldn't it? Classic. How many blocks did he make, and how many, how many blocks did I make? Fucking hell. Yeah, he did get three uh, turnovers, though. Oh, you know, three both down skulls. Hey, on the right-hand side, that mummy, would you have followed if you got a pal? 
Top two Black Hawks? Uh, no, no. Okay. Because that side's the weaker side, isn't it? So I wanted them not to be not to be not to be blocked down. But I, so that's why I thought I'd do the other one first, that I could accept the ball down on him. But actually, I don't want him to get knocked down. So really, is this an overtime format? I don't think so. No. I think <laughs> no, I don't think so. Very confident. Could be a draw. But I mean, I'll probably lose. But even then, that's okay because I'm submarine to win. The only thing is, I, I would need Stringer Bell to lose a game to some random dude, which he might not do. So it's like the tournament's in his hands. If he wins this one, he could win the rest of the nine and qualify. But I mean, if I lose, I could win the other nine and he could lose another one. And so it's it's weird. It's it's Swiss, but with too many rounds. So that's that's the thing. <laughs> Um, in normal Swiss, you don't get to play them again, no wolf bar. But I guess in fucking Wissen Blood Bowl 2, Wissen, maybe you do get to play them again. Don't know. Two, 10 games is too many. Like, it's way too many rounds for 24 people. You only need like, what, 12, 6, 3, 1. You only need like 4 or 5 rounds of Swiss, don't you? Uh, 5, probably. 12, 6, 3. Two, one. Yeah, you need four, five rounds. Is all you need to to determine a winner. Well, five guarantees it, doesn't it? If you play three, then you'd have potentially um, twelve, six, three people could have won all all the games if you have three rounds. If you had four rounds, two people could have won all the games, and if you have five, you've only got max one guy winning all of his games. Yeah, I don't mind it, but it's just, um, yeah, it's more a double elimination. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think it favours the better coaches, probably. Like Stringer Bell. <laughs> What's he doing, Jim? Uh, he's Is there a hand up to a blitzer on a potato? Maybe. Oh, there's Black Hawks just walking four squares. He's got very far forward, hasn't he? Yeah, real bad. But, um, yeah, it's... I mean, he's, he played well on, on defence, to be fair. Maybe I should burst forward that turn when I went back to try and make the t those two blocks. Maybe I should have pushed forward that turn. Don't know. Yeah, Wolfbag, it's guaranteed, yeah. Anyway, I shouldn't be fucking looking at chat. Let me put that away. <laughs> fucking reading chat, Jim. Gosh. What a fucking noob. No, this is very curious. Could be some risky 1D shit. The one on the white, two on the goal. If he stands on the right hand side, it'll just be an immediate red. No one at GFI. Yikes. UHR uh, work not. Uh, Jim is spending all his uh, concentration on the game. And every time he reads chat or gets distracted, he does something dumb. And so in an effort for Jim to not do dumb things, I will say words to mildly entertain you with somewhat relevant conversation. And Jim will focus and hopefully win. Tough match, though. Uh, not opting for the immediate red dice on the ball carrier. It seems fairly prudent as the failure state is uh, orc score. Or, oh, you know, stalled for a couple of turns, uh, uncontested. Oh, 
boy. Yeah, blocking him down seems good. So look, there's no doubt if he's making a big push like that, their push will be left alone, but... Is at least time up somewhat so that it's, uh, you know, it says dodges, but you know, the ball carrier and one blitzer downfield. Mummy ties up two Blackhawks. It's like blitzer clears the guy, ball carrier what blitzes himself through, and then a couple of dodges. Don't see that happening. Maybe he just stalls on a four strength carrier. And by stalls, I mean just stays where he is. Goes back two squares. Has a semblance of a cage. Uh, Blackhawk hits mummy. And open blitzer then screens out with the ball carrier being somewhat around where the mummy that would be knocked down would be. Because otherwise, it's a rock and a hard place. Oh, very fortuitous, Kea. Assisting with the wall carrier, always a risky proposition. Even to get a stun was pretty lucky. Yeah, that was incredibly, incredibly lucky. Wow. Yeah. Wow, we indeed. The thing about EV breaks, it reminds me of this one time I saw a guy blitz for a Kaz. No, I'll get out of town first. Because <laughs> that's where he had to stand. He, he, I would have pushed. I, yeah. mean, uh, I don't know, the push is pretty horrible. But like, My Blackhawk would have just been yeah. back three squares. Like, maybe assist on the mummy. Like, wow, I mean, that was where he had to stand. That's fucking ridiculous that he got the power. Holy shit. And then gets the power there as well. I mean, not power, AV break. And removal. Fucking hell. Wow. Yeah. Wow, this is fucking banged on. Tempting for a red. Banged on in the extreme here. Yeah, every block's exciting. <laughs> Big yikes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not see that coming as a first action. It's loose, Jim. Every now and then when Jim's uh, in a bit of a bind, he'll just say fuck it and roll some dice. I don't like it. I really don't like it. I don't know what the fuck this is. Deserves to lose. Nah, I've lost. I'd lost then and I had to do something, didn't I? Didn't just consider the immediate red? No. No, I wanted to make it one dice. Oh. Oh, fuck it. Maybe I hadn't lost. I thought I'd lost, though. Well, at least, at least the ghouls haven't died. <laughs> I guess he's moving forward, so maybe he's making him do a handoff or something. Maybe I could have played safer, just blitzing somebody and blocking people. But my guys were so far out of position, weren't they? I don't know. And there were a few of them. Especially now. Ugh. And Diagonal would have been three plus. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Unless you mean five plus. It's not tilt the clock at all. It was tilt the clock, Jim. It was a. It was, I thought I thought that I had to do something or I'd lost, and I I still believe I had to do something or I'd lost, because he made all those removals, and my guys were on the wrong side. All my guys were on the wrong and side the of the ball. That was the real killer, I think. All the one D's working instead of having people standing doing stuff. They're just fuckers on the ground. Yeah. I mean that ball down was ridiculous. Because if he if he, if he hadn't broken armor, he can't stop me getting a one dice on the ball. Like ridiculously, like just moving to get a one dice on the ball. And he just got it. It was ridiculous. I mean that was not out, that was outrageously lucky that. No, I can just go for a stupid. Uh, if you want to be part of team positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby. Do I go for this or do I just lie down? And uh, keep my team. I guess I, I guess I do the mummy hits first. Because why not? Foul things. Foul things. Yep. What do I foul? He hasn't got anyone on the ground. <laughs> I'm just pushing things. <laughs> he makes one dice power removal, and I make two dice pushes with mighty blow. For fuck's sake. Do like mummies. I mean. And could I have maybe played it? Dodged out whites or something? I, I don't think there was a lot I could have done that turn. Maybe I could try to dodge the two whites around. Blitz the guy that was there. I didn't like it though. Like, I think this is a bit mental. I'm not sure I should go for this. I think maybe staying on the ground's better than doing that. At this point, I don't want a, I don't want a ghoul to die, do I? In a game that I've already lost. Nope. Not if it's not res. No. <laughs> I would do anything for love, I mean, but I won't do I mean, that. I made a one dice block, and it's the same result as when he does a one dice block. <laughs> My guy gets killed. Oh fuck! Well, the game had been going, the day had been going well before this game. So there you go. Thanks, Fash, for doing the commentary, as if it could have been a competitive game. But never mind. No, he, he played well the first half, to be fair. The first half, uh, you know, it was just down to him playing well. Better than me, I think. Whereas well, second half has been a bit of a just banged on, hasn't it? Don't think I could have done much better second half. Now, it's the old uh, pressure angle, and then you had to commit men to keep it safe. Yeah, and then just got kind of ham with the basin, and you rolled a lot of pushes. Like that, that's, that's <laughs> it seems ridiculous to say, but when people do any sort of basing at all, if you're unable to clear them through being more concerned with wall protection, or when you do look to clear them, you get pushes. Like that's more catastrophic than a random block killing someone. Yeah, yeah. it's the whole tempo of the drive on the back foot, being based, pushing people away, and it's a struggle. Yeah, it was a struggle. But yeah, maybe I could have maybe I could have done things better in the second half as well. I, I don't know. But um, <sighs> all right. Well, <laughs> thanks for <Rashi. laughs> All right. Um, what can I do here? Hit the orc thrower. Maybe try. Like this is the thing. Maybe I shouldn't have done what I did there. You know. Maybe I could try to do. Make him score so I had a two turn chance, you know, maybe that's what I should have done. Try to put some pressure on to make him score a little bit earlier so I had the chance of a 2-1 two, two rather than what I did, which was admittedly fucking stupid. But... Great commentary though, thanks Fash. I said words and did things. I 
Let's see what happens with this one dice room. Wow. Yeah, I think that was that. I think he definitely he got lucky with that removal. I think that was a mistake. Assist another carrier and everything, because the push wasn't good enough. The ball down wasn't good enough, and he bit for a pal before with him, didn't he? As you said, as you correct, as Fash correctly stated, he bit for a pal earlier. And bit for a pal earlier. He got it. And got, well, no, didn't get it, but got the cow. Well, okay, got the removal. That's what I was trying to say. So I think he got a bit luckier, luckier than me overall. Definitely in the second half. But what can you do? Rerolling Black Ops dodges. Taking the piss or what? Shame that I've got no reroll now. God, do you remember when, when mummies didn't move as fast as they do now? It's outrageous, isn't it? Be four, three plus, five plus, three plus into a six plus uphill. Maybe I just keep the uh, keep the ghoul alive at this point and try a one turner with no players. This, this this isn't that unlikely, is it? Fuck it. Good. Didn't die. Didn't even die. Get in. Ah, typical. Yeah, it was very interesting. He put he played well until he didn't need to. <laughs> Can't succeed. No, it was, it's not that Ronaldo, Doctor Mama Bosco. It's the dribble it round everyone on the opposing team and score Ronaldo. Il Finamino or whatever the fuck. That's which one it is. Not fucking. Not the bloody. Not Cristiano. Fucking number nine. Luis Nazario de Lima. Not the fat guy. No, he's not the fat one. He's the fucking best one. Is what he is. God damn it. There's no point in me forcing him to score in turn 16. I could power him though, I could just fucking power him. God, you bastards. How dare you talk about the greatest player of all time. Okay. He is though, isn't he? To say that he was like crippled. Completely didn't play for like fucking three year, three and a half years or something, and was never this like was never, never lived up to his potential because of it, and still is like Brazil's second top goal scorer, still is like played for all the good teams in the world, and is just like scored loads. He still had a great career despite 
being completely completely fucked because of his knees. Pretty amazing. Yeah, I guess Ronaldinho's the donkey one, yeah. Yeah, he was she was only pretty good though. It was late on that his knees got done, wasn't it? He'd already he'd already like you know, he was already old by the time Shearer's knees got fucked, whereas Ronaldo was at his peak when his knee got fucking destroyed. It was kinda of late though, wasn't it? Twenty nine, something, twenty nine thirty. It wasn't like Ronaldo. It wasn't like Ronaldo taking out his peak years. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I, re I remember, I remember where it was when it happened. <laughs> Believe me, um, but the, the one at Everton was the was the preseason one. That was the one that killed him, wasn't it? That was what killed Shearer. I mean, everyone has a few injuries, don't they? But like, Shearer's career ender happened in the preseason friendly against Everton, whereas Ronaldo's career ender happened way earlier than that. And it's amazing that he carried on playing after it, really. It's not, it's not res, no, so, uh, unfortunately, oh my god, yeah, the dead guy will stay dead. <laughs> well, these mummies were a fucking sight to behold, weren't they? <laughs> Annihilated him. Bash must have just done one. He didn't say goodbye, did he? He just, he just stopped. He was here, Scully. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, Bash. For commentating when it while it was still a game, while I was trying to concentrate. But. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a little disappointed to, to lose, obviously, but he, he played he played well defense. So. Can't complain about that. Way more blocks. I think he just based me, didn't he? And it worked out, which is which is fair enough. You can't win them all. I've got no problem with games like that where, you know, they played well until the dice decided it. What's really annoying is when someone plays crap and, they, and, they, and the dice decide it, I think. They're a lot harder to take than, than losing to someone who plays well and the dice decide it. But that that's sad to be down. Uh, well, it's not that bad, though, I guess, because I can't buy an apple. So the journeyman zombie's okay, but it means when I get the uh, fourth ghoul, I'll still only have 11 players. But hopefully I'll kill somebody instead of just doing nothing. <laughs> Three armor bricks. <laughs> Dead team. Right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.